lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's me Kate Anwar. In today's video I'm just going to be talking about my hair journey so far, specifically focusing on the setbacks I've had throughout. I'll be having pictures for you guys as well, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So I started my hair journey on February, in February 2013. This was what my hair looks like to begin with. It was dry, it was really thin. I do have fine hair, but my hair overall was really thin from damage. Heat damage, back to back sew-ins, over processing my hair with relaxers, everything I, you know, you name it, I did it. That was wrong to my hair, so that was how my hair started off. The first few months of my hair journey were fine, I got on really well, I was deep conditioning, I was wearing U-part wigs and buns mostly to protect my hair. Um, my first setback, it was kind of a mini setback, was in October 2013. So I had a relaxer, at that point I was getting relaxers every 8-10 to 10 weeks so I had a trim, my I think August relaxer and then when it got to October my stylist at the time was like I think you should get another trim so I was like are you sure, do I really need one? She said yeah you know not a lot but I'm just going to take a little bit off so I said you know cool that's fine if you take a picture before and after the trim just so I can document it because at the beginning I was really into documenting my hair journey taking a lot of pictures and stuff so she did she took a picture and then when we turned around and we looked at the after picture and I compared it with the before she said oh I didn't realize I took off that much I was like okay <laughs> What do you mean? She said, honestly, I just took off a little bit, but it looks like a lot more. So I said, oh, okay, it's fine, you know. I trust that you thought I needed the trim, so it's okay. So yeah, that was my first kind of mini setback. So that was October, the November of 2013. I went to Ghana for the first time with my husband. I was really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get braids or twists or something. I really want my hair done in Ghana. So I ended up getting Senegalese twists. I got those done, they looked so amazing, but they cost me. <laughs> so basically, I had about five women in my hair at the same time doing my hair. And when they finished doing all the twists, they started cutting off all the frayed hair. So I was sitting there and I was like, I don't think all of this is, you know, extension hair. I think some of this is my hair. But I thought you know what they wouldn't cut my hair like I don't know I was so dumb like I was just like they wouldn't cut my hair so when it came to taking a twist down my hair was awful it was uneven it was thin again it was just it was a wreck it was they really butchered my hair basically so I was really sad that was my first major setback and also my hairline and edges were a bit gone because it was you know Africa Ghana they braided really tight to make sure every stitch of my hair was, you know, braided up. So, yeah, that cost that really set me back a bit. After that, I got really serious with my hair journey again. I deep conditioned a lot. I took hair affinity for about two months as well, and I was just really on it after that. I just wanted to restore my hair back to how it was, and yeah, it managed. It paid off. If you haven't seen my one year hair journey video, I'll link it below. That shows you, you know, where my hair got to at the end of that year. So that took me to February of 2014. After that first year was over, I kind of kept up with my hair journey, but I did slack off for a few months. So my hair kind of maintained the same length. I wasn't really retaining length after that. Which then brought me to the start of 2015. Um, I got pregnant with my son Malcolm in February last year. And the first three months of my pregnancy was awful 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 I was sick um, I had really bad morning sickness I was in pain a bit couldn't really get up I was really tired I was missing work uni so my hair was the last thing on my mind when I kind of snapped out of it after the first three months I kind of started feeling a bit better you know getting my energy back I was like okay let me assess my hair see what I've done and um, I went to my salon for a relaxer and she was like your ends are pretty damaged so i said to her you know what i don't mind starting again just take off everything you need to she said are you sure because we can cut gradually like between relaxers or you know if you really want i'll take it all off so i said you know what cut off everything you think you need to but literally she cut off so much of my hair the back of my hair was cut to almost ear length 
and then the front and sides was neck length I can show you guys in the pictures and yeah that was me basically starting my hair journey from scratch I didn't mind that much just because I knew I was having a fresh start to start my hair journey again but at the same time I was a bit disappointed that I'd made quite a bit of progress from the start of my hair journey up to that point but yeah so that was my major setback that was last year May I stretched my relaxer for the rest of the pregnancy so I did my first six month relaxer stretch and I wore sew-ins kind of consistently between the breaks I had a half wig as well I just wanted to keep my hair completely away but I still took care of it I still did my treatments between sew-ins and things like that I think with that with me being pregnant that kind of speeded up my hair growth as well so that worked in my favor but these are the results from my six month relaxer stretch and as you can see I did manage to retain quite a bit of length and then I did another six month relaxer stretch which brings me up to April of this year and they're the results you can see so that's basically round about where my hair is at now and yeah I'm just happy to get back on with it so I've decided to stick with my regime that I had last year throughout my pregnancy just because I think that really helped me grow my hair and retain length where I'm going to be wearing sew-ins and then take a break every now and again but care for my hair whilst it's under the sew-in as well I can do a video for you guys how I care for my hair whilst it's in a sew-in so look out for that so I do have a goal for the end of this year and that is to reach armpit length or at least grazing armpit length which I think I can do if, as long as I keep up with my regime and keep taking care of my hair and not slack off basically <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and in the comments let me know if you've had a setback on your journey how you got over it and also how long you've been on your journey as well if you're not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hello to all my new subscribers as well and I'll see you guys in the next video take care and stay blessed